A long and difficult winter has concluded in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, but you'll have to forgive those who can't wait for the next one. People always ask about Augustana hockey or they say, hey, I drove by the arena. Wow, it's coming along. The excitement is really real and it's fun to be a part of. The trusses are in place at Midco Arena, and with those trusses comes the trust that in six months this program will be ready to compete at the Division I level. We didn't have any sticks, skates, helmets, you know, two months ago, and now they're starting to come in. So uh, that's kind of the fun part as well. I'm going to be in the same spot every other coach in college hockey is, uh, and that's the off season, getting ready for the upcoming year, um, and that's. It's been a long time coming, but we're excited. For a startup program, we'll play a completely Division I competitive schedule. You can play 34, we're going to play 34. Uh, we're going to play two exhibition games. We'll have 15 home games. You know, in a typical year, you'd say you'd have 16 to 18. We're going to have 15 as a startup program. Uh, I think it's remarkable. In an ideal world, all 15 of those home games would be on campus. But the university announced the first part of Augustana Hockey's inaugural season will take place at the Denny Sanford Premier Center. We always knew we were on a really, really fast timeline and weren't expecting necessarily to be in August, October 1. Well, what an incredible venue to have that right in our backyard. Uh, obviously, we would want to start at Midco Arena, but if there was a plan B, you would dream that it was at the Premier Center. Uh, so we're fortunate to have that. Um, and, and we're going to get as many people in there as we can, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be an awesome ride. That first series, First ever Augustana Hockey Home Series will be a Saturday-Sunday series, October 14-15, against a CCHA opponent. Uh, we'll play five games at the Denny before moving in uh, to Midco Arena. We get two opening nights, you know, one at uh, the opening night ever of the program, October 14th, and then January 26th at Midco Arena. Patience has already been put to the test and will certainly be a virtue throughout the next several months. But aside from the actual physical building, the team building remains a constant. Will Svendahl and Ben Trombley are still the only official players on the roster. But the rest of the group will be known very soon. You know, each and every day we know more and more of who our players are. Um, and we're getting to know those recruits and, and just, you know, start the messaging uh, for what we're going to be about come year one. He's able to share with me some of the details, you know, that we can't talk about publicly until they sign. But I'm just excited that the kind, the caliber of athlete and the caliber of person that are interested in Augustana and how that, and like any recruiting, it kind of feeds on itself. So you bring in a few of those and they bring in others. Uh, and we have a diverse group. I think we have five provinces, three countries, six states. Uh, but they share that common goal and that's, uh, and I guess, belief in the opportunity that Augustana provides. Whether it's flying above the surface of reality or flying through virtual reality, the overall view remains the same. There's still plenty of work ahead, but the stage is set and showtime is just around the corner. Well, it's, it's almost two years since this whole thing started as a vision. And in that time, it continues to be unlike anything I've ever seen or have been a part of. It's funny because, you know, a, a fellow coach reached out earlier in the year and said, hey, you should come up and hang out with us. I'm sure you're just bored not having any hockey to coach. And you know what? I've been a lot of things this year, but bored is not one of the things that comes to mind. It's beyond the state of South Dakota right now. Uh, people know hockey's coming uh, and, and they're excited to see Augustana and, and curious to see what we can do. All right, David, you've been tracking this for a couple of years now. Are, are we in the final stretch? What goes on in the next six months or so? It really is the home stretch of this thing. Summer's approaching. Coach Rabs is going to be going to some junior hockey camps, some development camps, as you well know, in any sport, the recruiting never stops. But for this first roster, once these guys are signed and Coach Rabs knows they're going to be on the team for this inaugural 23-24 season, he's going to get them all together at some point in the summer here in Sioux Falls, kind of get the lay of the land. Strength and conditioning coaches will give each individual a plan to work on for the rest of summer so that they're ready to go once they reconvene back in August and September for fall camp. That's The roster is the biggest thing to get in place still. Yes, yeah, still point, to get right? in place. Still okay. need to know which guys are signed, which guys are going to compete in junior hockey before coming to Augustana. Okay. So still a lot to work out from a roster perspective. Big question is what are they going to wear and do they have some cool stuff coming? It is the most frequently asked question just around campus and to the athletic department. But AD Josh Morton says soon. We're going to know them soon. In fact, end of April, early May, 
The home and away uniforms for the inaugural season will be unveiled. They've been working with CCM, one of those leading equipment manufacturers in hockey. Once they're revealed, they will be available to purchase at the Augie Bookstore. All right, very cool. And the, the season starts in October. Right? Mid-October. It's coming up fast, October 14th and 15th, the first home games at the Denny. All right, appreciate it. David Brown. This has been Midco Sports Magazine presented by Build Your Base with Beef Sports Nutrition and Training Program.